there are some NFL players out there who some might describe as freak athletes, explosive, dynamic, elite, a freak of nature, aggressive, fast. Some players can be described that way. But I'm not worried about a single one of those players today. Today, I'm worried about the players with grit. Those players with just a high motor. I'm worried about the players with high football IQ. The players who run great routes. Those players who are really savvy on the football field. You know, they just find a way to get open. It's not their dominant speed. It's not their freakish athleticism. They just make it happen. So today, I have assembled the NFL's highest motor team. Team, the most grit that you'll ever see on the football field. Every single player on this team, if there was a trait, there's a trait in Madden that said grit, and it was one to 99. They'd have 99 grit. I want those guys that I would introduce to my daughter. Okay, now it's racist. I take that back. I take that back. Every single player on this team just has a feel for the game. They just find a way to get open. They're not flashy. They just get the job done day in, day out. Justin Herbert at quarterback. He's got a lot of great. Christian McCaffrey, literally been one of the grittiest players in the league for the last, ever since he joined. Zonka, historically high motor. Braxton Berrios, he's been a sleeper, but I think in the upcoming years, I can definitely see his motor getting a little bit higher. A Hunter Renfro and Cooper Cup. Literally, if uh, there's an uh, NFL award for the highest motor and the most great, these two would be neck and neck. Obviously, Cooper Cup gets all the media spotlights. He got the triple crown. But Hunter Renfro has been so slept on. And he just has a feel for the game. He's so savvy and he's got great football IQ. Wait a minute. Rob Gronkowski, the giga chad of having a high motor. Offensive line, Tony Baselli, John Runyon, Matt Paratus, Eric McCoy, Nate Solder. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're looking at this team and you're saying, oh, I figured it out. I know the one thing that all these players have in common. And you're right. They've got a really high motor. Taylor Rapp at free safety, Tanner Muse at outside linebacker, AJ Hawk, Luke Keekley, TJ Watt, Ted Hendricks at strong safety. And now you'll notice there's a problem. You're looking at my corners right now. You're saying Jalen Ramsey, Byron Murphy, Jordan Poyer. Those guys are whoa, whoa, whoa. barely having a high motor. They barely have a high motor at all. There's no grit out of any of those guys. And you're right. I went through the whole league. I looked at the whole, the roster, every single player in the NFL. None of, to me at least, to me, I know it could be different for everybody, but to me, none of those guys had a high motor straight up nobody had the grit that i was looking for so i just put random players there i'm excited it's an 88 overall team like i said it's nothing flashy they just get the job done I, you know i'm not gonna do that many theme teams this year i'm only gonna do actually the nfl theme teams like you know all packers all Bengals, all lions teams uh last year i did like the highest speed team and all that so this will be one of the very few theme teams you see for me this year like funny theme teams so enjoy it while it lasts and luckily since the playoffs have started we actually have a really cool house rules to play this is playoff ot you guys might see my last playoff ot video if it's tied at the end of regulation like the first overtime period the game ends which is not how actual nfl playoff overtime works so i don't know what the fuck ea was thinking but when actual nfl overtime ends in the playoffs they just go into another overtime period assuming the game is tied oh we're in a solid squad that is a good team but there's no way their motors are as high as my teams there's no shot a few moments later okay well quit wow that's crazy bro this guy really loaded up saw how gritty my team was they saw how much of a feel for the game my team had and he just fucking quit that's crazy and of course, a huge thank you to SeatGeek, the best place in the world to get tickets for anything for sponsoring today's video. SeatGeek is an app that you should have on your phone right now. Where you can instantly buy tickets to your favorite events. For me, that's NFL games and concerts, but they got NBA, MLB, you name it, it's probably on SeatGeek. There's a link in the top of the description. Definitely check it out. And use my code MMG for $20 off your first purchase. SeatGeek, thank you for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Isaiah Simmons, Devin Hester, and J.C. Horn. That's a squad. Wow, look at the grit out here. First and 10. Playing against a good team. I do see Gronk open. Ah, oh, I kind of figured. I threw that late. I had to throw that earlier. Also, I gotta say, I do not like Herbert's throw animation. You think Renfro can burn J.C. I really don't think that Renfro could burn Gilmore here. Ooh, is that there? What a ball! Holy shit. Holy shit. No abilities on this Herbert either. On the run, under pressure to Braxton Berrios. That was really impressive by Berrios too, dude. He just found a way to get open. He didn't use his speed, his athleticism to get there. He just the understands cow. the game and he got there. And look at Renfro just reading this zone. You know, some players, they can do it with their feet. They can do it with their hands. But uh -huh. some players just know 
how to read an NFL defense. And great job by Renfro right there, reading this defense and just making an excellent play. Herbert! Fucking Herbert! Dude, just broke a D lineman. Damn, I might have to, I might have to take Herbert off of this team. You know, some people say, why didn't you put in Joe Burrow? Joe Shiesty? Joe Shiesty has no grit. Let's see if we can hit McCaffrey in the middle, because if he's gonna go man coverage, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yup, I am in a lot of trouble. Ooh, nice. We need this. We need a push up front. Third and two. Great push. McCaffrey squeaked his way through there, but he's through. If I was an absolute dickhead, I could chew this clock and kick a field goal, but I don't want to do that. Probably man coverage again. Ooh, wait, that's there. Surprisingly enough, Braxton Berrios has a majority of my passing yards right now. Do we think this is the same defense? Kind of do. Dude. Oh, I was about to say, Barrio is really about to put the whole team on his back again. This is a cover two. Gronk should be open right over the middle. Just depends on who he's using. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right there. Gronk, that's game. He's got it. Let's go. Yo, this playoff overtime rules. I just iced up against that 96 overall team. That feels good. What a game. That's how you come out hot. Oh, damn. He had Dan Marino at quarterback too. He had a lot of grit. I'm surprised he lost. It's getting ridiculous. First and 10, going against the Ravens. He's got the Elodie Nada free safety. Awesome card, honestly. I think that's fucking, oh my God, get Preston. Wait, oh, he switched off. Oh, he switched off. I was about to dog him. Well, I can't believe that got open. We're already in scoring range. Got to do something conservative after that sketch ball of a play right there. I mean, that worked though. It's third and one. I'm going to do the same thing. Those blocks were excellent. Let's go, McCaffrey, get a spin. Oh, weirdly enough, Cooper Cup hasn't done shit. It's been Braxton Berrios and sometimes Renfro. So let's get Cooper Cup a tutty. Ah, oh, but he's not there. I'm going Cooper Cup. Ah! Holy shit. Why am I playing so god tier right now? What the fuck? Oh my god. That was nasty. Cooper Cup making it work, dude. First and 10. Undefeated so far with the grid squad. And um, yeah, a lot of people in my face. Not going for that one. Uh, I see an, uh, dude, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the packages I'm running. Braxton Berrios is the most open guy on the field every single time I throw the ball. He's literally my shittiest wide receiver. I should put Cooper Cup over there. Oh no, it's underthrown. I might get picked. Okay, good, good, good. Herbert could not make that throw. It was a little too deep. He did. This is the grit team. The only thing you're really supposed to be able to do is catch wide open passes. Oh, dude, we just ran a pick play. Holy shit. Why is Vita Vea downfield? I don't know, but he just tossed the nastiest fucking box. How is Vita Vea? Uh, Vita Vea is on this team somehow. I don't know how. He was nowhere in my lineup. Either way, he just tossed the nastiest downfield block. He had that corner sauced up for like five seconds. It's gonna get around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, I met Devin White right in the middle. Okay, so Vita Vea is in the backfield now, though. I don't want Vita Vea to accidentally score. I'm looking for Barrios. I'm looking for Barrios on this little sit down route right here. Get up there, sit down, and snag it. Why, the, why is he the god? Why is he the god? I'm undefeated right now. I got. I also would need to know why Vita Vea ended up as my wide receiver five. Like he was my far. He really ended up at like wide receiver two. He was my far right wide receiver. We are cap 69. I really don't care how good your team is. I haven't lost yet. I'm being a little cocky. I started out on offense in all those games, which is a huge advantage in this game mode. So let's see. We haven't even gotten to see our gritty defense. He's going to roll out right. It's not going to be open. He's going to have to take off. TJ Watt's going to snag him. Uh-oh, that's open. This is bold, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Taylor Rapp on Percy Harvin. Not to mention I usered it. Not my smartest decision all time. But at least I lost so quickly that it just feels like nothing happened. Ugh. The God Squads are out, full force. He's got Jalen Hurts! I love this guy already. He'll probably just take off. All right, we're gonna need a QB spy. I'm gonna put Tanner Muse, my 67 overall linebacker on the QB spy. Ooh, jet touch pass. Honestly, a lot of these playmakers could be open. Oh, he's not gonna take any of them. There's a lot he could have thrown there. Wow, I'm realizing that the offense ain't bad, but the defense is a bit of a liability. We didn't get any pressure. We're not really able to cover downfield. We're not very fast in the middle. Throws underneath. Did not get the pressure we were looking for. This is a problem. 
If anything, it shows you how much easier offense is in Madden 22 than defense. You just gotta make a big play. Oh, that's a big play. That's third and three. I don't know what his objective was there. We gotta make a stand here. Absolutely have to. Oh, right side is open. I saw it so late. I'm just sitting on these. No, it finally opened up, bro. Oh, it ain't over yet. It's damn close, but it ain't over yet. If he rolls left, I'll be sad. So I'll definitely be in trouble there. Okay. Okay, Nick Bosa. Yup. Yup. Oh my God, we're gonna clamp. We're actually gonna do this shit. Fourth and 12. One more stand, boys. One more big one. Oh, he's really thinking about it now. He doesn't have shit. He doesn't have shit. Hendrix, you gotta house this. Oh, he missed. He switched off the wrong guy. We're gonna go all the way. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a fucking play. What a fucking play. He switched onto the wrong guy at the worst time. Because bro, even if I had gotten that ball back, I had to march all the way down the field and kick the field goal, which isn't that hard, but holy shit. All right, I'm gonna be honest, boys. I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking about going a little bit further with the grit high motor team, playing a few more games. But not only are we undefeated, but I don't think I can top that game. Like, what I'm going to start doing now if I play more is I'm just going to start losing. I love you, boys. Thank you for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's actually an absolute blast to make. I had so much fun in the gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.